feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions And it's too much sometimes Mix the potion Mix it up, girl, put it in motion Loosen the fuck up Control freaks don't get laid Are you being told to like be a hoe at this time? Are you being told to <laughs> get down with the good down? Shit could be so much worse. Maybe we're in this state of woe is me. Maybe we're in this state of God damn it, everything outside of me is just so bad. My life is so horrible. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Oh my God, I can't do this. Oh my God, like in the state of just complaining. Ungratefulness, I just heard as well, okay? Because with complaining comes with the level of ungratefulness, you know? Not being able to see all the blessings that you do have, the things that you do have, and just solely focusing on the things that you feel like you're lacking. Hey, Yolanda, what's up, y'all, y'all? How are you? Yeah, eight of swords when I split the deck, y'all. No movement. You slacking? Let's see what this energy is. We have the lover's card. Okay. All right. There's a choice here that needs to be made. All right. And we have the sun card that comes afterwards. So once you make this choice, you will have happiness. You will be happy. Um... Now, with the lover's card, this, I mean, it's all about choices, but it's also talking about a union. Two forces joining together, uh, more than likely, um, you know, a husband or wife, two friends, two business partners, you know, two people um, under one family tree, right? Well, the lover card, like I said before, it also talks about choices, not just relationships. So if you look, Eve has two choices to make she can eat from the tree of knowledge or she can eat from the burning bush right so one tree gives her everything that she wanted the happiness that she was seeking right and then that other tree is going to lead her down to a road of destruction right the tower card will come next if may if you make the wrong decision right so be mindful all right i feel like there's already been thoughts too about this person not being for you that's why this you slacking card came out so whoever this person is that we're still you know have ourselves attached to it's time to go ahead and let it go like and you're staying there just because you're comfortable she looks uncomfortable but really she's comfortable the rope is not that tight the stakes or the the swords that is around her they're not she's not fully closed in right she could literally just pull this rope off and she could walk out of her situation but she's choosing with this blindfold i see no evil that type of energy right she's choosing to stay in this union because this is what i've been taught is happiness this is the way that it's supposed to go um but with the happiness card and then this card coming right after it this is to me this is denial right to me this is the energy of denial because you're not happy because you're suppressing yourself you're suppressing your desires um yeah so all right, all right. Ooh, we got a card that flipped over the illusions card seven of cups smash that like button y'all please and thank you i'd really appreciate it that's how you can help support the YouTube channel and or the Instagram. Hit that like button. Let's get these videos out in the algorithm. Um, I'm also open, have the floor open you all for um, Q and A's. I don't have a dollar amount attached, so you can simply just send me a tip and um, I'll pull a couple cards for you. Um, dollar sign ami tv it is in the title i do apologize i did not put a link down there i was moving kind of fast so we have the illusions card seven of cups 
So this just goes back to the lover's card. That this choice that needs to be made, right? That will ultimately bring you your happiness. But and you know this. This is the energy of you know that you have to make a choice. You've been unhappy for a long time, but you're staying in the situation due to being comfortable, due to maybe having finances together. Like this could be like a married couple. We also have the seven of cups. So this leads me to think like there's still hesitation on your part. You're disconnected from this person. Like, it, this is a very mundane, monotone even, melancholy, <laughs> very boring ass union here. I don't know if it's you that needs to release the control or if you are the one that's being controlled, but you're in a controlling ass union here and someone wants out. Somebody wants out. I am sweating like a fat lady. Goodness gracious. My boobies are like literally dripping sweat. TMI. Anyways. <laughs> anyways, y'all. Anyways. Sheesh. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. So... There's been some empty promises here. Maybe you've dealt with this person for a while. They've given you promises of change. Commitment. I won't lie to you anymore. I won't talk crazy to you anymore. Something like that. Or I won't be so controlling. But it's like this Stockholm Syndrome thing now too because you remember I said with the Eight of Swords sword sorry you're just standing there in 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 the mess you're standing willingly in the mess like this is her peeing on herself this is what i think when i see this car like she's pissed herself and she's just standing in it like okay she's got her guards up right um this is also someone that's like kind of deceitful or just lying to lying to the people around them that clearly see you like this and you're like no i'm fine i'm i'm happy what are you what are you even talking about i'm i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine i promise guys no it's okay seriously i'm fine i'm fine bitch you ain't fine you are not okay you are not okay You've given full control to this person. Full control. Now, we also have the Queen of Pentacles here that pops out, okay? The Queen of Pentacles symbolizes what it sounds like. A woman that Pentacles is money, material things, right? Uh, wealth, etc. Queen, she's the queen of that. Look at all the greenery here. Right? Look at all the spiritual knowledge back here with the with the mountains. This is a very entombed energy here, right? But it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have of self. It doesn't matter how logical you could be in a situation. You got to get into your emotions and move. You got to take a stand and really be serious about what it is that you want in your life. Um... I do want to clarify this you slacking card. Can we clarify this you slacking card? Let's go ahead and clear the energy off the table. Again, smash that like button if you all are still um, watching. I do appreciate it. It looks like we got some people that's trying to come in here. How does this work? Let's see. I have accepted uh, Yolanda into the queue. Um, I do ask that you guys come into the queue, you know, if you do have a, a specific question for Tara. Yeah, yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm not Hey, mamas, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well. You cutting out a bit. I miss you. <laughs> Huh? I miss you. I miss you too. I 
hope all is well with you. I've been thinking about getting back on the app, but every time I download it, I literally get anxiety. So that's a sign I should just leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. For a while. I'm about ready is to delete resonating? it myself. Is the message resonating huh? for you? Yeah, it is. Okay. Do you I was just talking about that questions? last night. Mm, no, not really. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and drop you down, Yaya. I'm um, keeping this... Uh, I don't know what they call this. Um, the call-ins for people that have like specific questions for Tara. But girl, you already know where my inbox is and where to reach me. You know, you can hit me up anytime. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, but I mean, you can stay there too for the read. I don't mind you to the move. Okay. So let's let's get back into it. I said I wanted to clarify that you slacking on it. So let's go ahead and do that. What are we slacking on? Are we slacking on this decision? Are we picking up on a different energy here? What are we slacking on in this relationship? We see that we're in a relationship. See, we see that we're in a relationship with a controlling person. Now, where we where we need to fall ourselves in this situation is that we have not moved. We have not took it not one step forward into forward movement. See, the spirit realm is calling you to move out of this toxic, suffocating ass situation. That way you can live. Look at all the shit that you have. Look at <laughs> look at all of this. Look at all the success that's waiting for you. You have a whole life to live and you're holding yourself back being stuck to this person. I hope this person isn't abusive or like um, uh, emotionally manipulative, you know, um, using that word that we all love so much, that narc word, right? This is a, 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 a super narcissist here, okay? Super narcissist. Um, your spirit guides is also um, telling you to find balance in your life. Maybe this is a time where you definitely need to get back connected to nature. Um, we think that the, the, the very things that work for us as far as healing physically, emotionally, spiritually are the most easiest things, right? And we just look at them as taboos or look at them, excuse me, as cliche, but it's really things that will help you on your way. Going outside five to 10 minutes a day barefoot. You don't even have to stand planted in the grass. You could just walk around. Go check your mail bare barefooted. Making sure you're getting a certain amount of ounces of water in your system a day. Starting a garden, even if it's two plants. Not making excuses for the things that we can't do, but acknowledging the things that we can do. Praising ourselves on the things that we're great at. Um, y'all, they look, it's, it's 4th of July, you already know, so they, they doing their thing. Um, but yeah, so in situations where there's no, in relationships that you have now where there's no reciprocity, you need to also point the finger at yourself as well. Because with this reading, I'm getting someone that is fully always in complaint mode. You know, this is an enabled person. This is an enabler. You know, there's just a lot of different layers of energy here. Um, you're a very smart person, beautiful energy. You're very sweet. You are very sweet. So sweet and so humble that you've let this I want to say man this is masculine energy run run you through the motherfucking dirt this man or this woman has cheated dealt with some stalker situations this person has had uh dealt with substance abuse now I don't know if you were down that road with them as well but you you've literally helped cure this man 
help cure this woman. Give him your whole life, your whole energy, children, maybe even taking care of their children. I don't know. Like you, you went above and beyond for this person. Right. And, um, I don't feel like you have anything left. You've given all that you could give to this person. You've helped this person as much as you possibly humanly possibly could. And at this point, it's unhealthy staying attached, right? This is unhealthy. So I encourage you to make the step today to release yourself into your divinity, Ashe. Um, doing some self-love exercises, building that confidence up, um, using that throat chakra and, and telling people, you got me fucked up. This is how I feel, and this is what I'm about to do. I'm about to leave you. And this is why. How do you feel about this? If that person doesn't fight for you, it's time to go. We got some fire here. Child created spark. You you don't even know what you like anymore. You're not even comfortable at exercising your hobbies anymore. Maybe you were into dancing and you would just dance freely. Now you feel like someone's always watching you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you were a great a great drawer. Great with you your hands maybe you did like crocheting or something like that that this person has pulled you away from self period period that's the best way that i can explain it instead of trying to give you a whole bunch of examples like straight up you've been separated disconnected from self and it's time to get back connected okay chrome ascension so we have this chrome bloodline that has entered into the spirit realm or sorry not into the earth realm sorry from the spirit realm um, this energy came up a couple months ago. This energy also came up a couple of days ago in one of my readings. I need to come with the actual Crone Ascension Tarot reading period to get into that and explain the spiritual shift that's going on here. But I don't have time and I don't want to get that deep today. Now, but you are a descendant of the Crone bloodline. Okay? And if I I'm not mistaken, the chrome bloodline is here to cause destruction. Okay. They're here to bring some fire to this earth plane and spark some shit off. Right? These are those um I don't know if the crone crone is a demon species or if it's a um a gin species or what. I still have to do some research on that. But the crone species specifically comes in and like I said it, it creates chaos it shakes some shit up right um mm. the characteristics of a crone someone of the crone bloodline a lot of the times they're seen in like abusive men um you know things of that nature like I said I don't want to get that deep but there is a lot of crone descendants that have been released in the past 50 years and there's another bloodline that's being released here now i think that this abusive person has a connection to this uh crone bloodline and it might not just be you having that connection right so you could potentially be impregnated with a crone spiritual child yeah this got really deep <laughs> um if this message is resonating and you would like an extended, please hit me up on my Instagram, uh, Ami underscore Ami, and or hitting me up on my tarot website, okay, 3% Tarot. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I will leave that link down below. If you're watching this on Instagram, I will put that in the comment section somewhere, okay? Um, yeah. So this is a, a spiritual attack. You've been in love with a demon for a long time. You've been in love with a, a, a jinn for a long time. Yeah, that's, that's deep. That's deep. <laughs> Woo, y'all. All right. So um, let's end off with some cards from the Zero Fucks Given deck. And then I will also pull one card from the Soulful Woman deck. And we'll go ahead and get out of here. Okay? Take a fucking trip. Leave, leave his ass or her ass for a little bit. Let them miss you. See how they act when they miss you. Make it rain. Ooh. We need some sexual healing. Go to a strip club. See some cakes in your face. 
Uh, it will lie to your face. Okay, fuck fear. Hmm. It will lie to your face. You're being held back by fear. You just might get it right. Oh, I just might be successful. I just might find the love of my life. I just might get that creative, that creative spark. It just might go right. But I'll be alone, baby. I got about, about 10 pillows on my bed. They wrap me tight, great and tight, just like a man could, just like any woman could. Overstanding the time that you're in. Self-preservation, self-love, self-knowing. It's a time of Aquarius. There's going to be more and more shit being revealed to you, okay? They broke your heart. Fuck them. Like, <laughs> straight up. Straight up. Fuck them. And then for confirmation, no. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Confirmation, three of swords. You let me down. You won't let yourself down, though, with this decision right here. Ashe, you will not let yourself down. Period. That's, that's not going to happen. I'm going to answer this uh, video call before I get out of here. I don't know if they're still waiting. Okay, I think that was an old notification. All right, y'all. I think this was a beautiful ass message. Let's go ahead and end off with the Soulful Woman deck. Smash that like button. All right. And subscribe to the vibe if you're not already. Be sure that if you do want products, either for my skincare business and or the tarot site, you have to sign up to the email to order. All right, on the skincare site, you will see a tab that says pay here or check out. That tab does not work. You will not be getting any products unless you hit that email, okay? Ashe. What is the closing energy? What advice can we leave off on? Okay, what advice? What advice can we leave off on? Those of you guys that are on Instagram, Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I post content daily, okay? Sometimes more than one video daily. Um, I'm almost to the point where I'm monetized. I have 980 subs. I need 20 more subs to be monetized. So I would really appreciate it if you ran over there and gave your girl a sub, okay? Help me get to that goal. Um, I'm also taking donations for the channel, all right? So... Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, my cash out will be linked down in the description box. All right. And Instagram, y'all see it on the title section. All right. I decided I'd be more vocal about donations because, you know, this is my soul energy. I'm giving my time into doing these readings. And, um, yeah, I think it's important to have a relationship with reciprocity. Right. So. Ashe. All right. Princess Charming. I take the horse by the reins and become my own Princess Charming. Taking care of my own needs. Maybe we kept ourselves locked to this person because they were financially more stable than us. They always took care of everything. Provided a simple life for you. You, you know, have comfortability. But now it's time for you to take charge yourself. If this, if this is you, woman, you you can you can create your own business. You can get a job, even if it is for a little, little bit. You can make the steps to become this independent you, right? Um. And I know it's crazy. I'm getting this energy that you've been in this union with this person for a long time. And you might be older in age as well. You're going to be sent someone else, though. <laughs> like, I don't feel, I don't understand why, like, we hit 50 and we feel like that's like a death sentence or something. Like, baby, that's when you are really grown and you finally start to live, travel, have grand wisdom. Like, 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't getting in this shit every other every other day, every other week. Just the the fuckery, all the shits that happen, the you know, falling down, bumping your head, scraping your leg. You don't do that shit no more because you know how to maneuver in life better, right? Like you finally get it. You crack the code. So this is not dead for you. This is actually a rebirth. And I encourage you to jump on it. Okay? You are powerful. You are loved. You are infinite. Elect, uh, electron, uh, what am I trying to say? See, y'all, this one, I, my words be getting all jumbled. You are a supreme electrical-based being who just keeps regenerating, 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 premortal energy. Thoughts on top of thoughts on top of thoughts. Stardust. You're from the moon and water. The ethers. That's powerful. You are powerful. Stop sleeping on yourself. Stop sleeping on yourself. Take charge of your life. Make that decision, Chariot. This week, I want to tell you, I want you to tell yourself, I am the Chariot. I'm in control of my life and the decisions I make. No weapon against me shall prosper.